Oh yeah, what a bitch I was. You guys see that? Camping in little corners like a bitch with a Kimbo Rangers. That was me two years ago, playing Modern Warfare 2 by the month of March 2010. I didn't have much friends to play online, so I was playing free-for-all on my own. And I was just camping like a bitch. You guys saw that, and um, that was basically it. I just, I don't know, I was just playing to survive. Then later, Black Ops 2, uh, I almost said Black Ops 2. And later Black Ops came out and to be honest I hate that fucking game I could not stand it I tried it and tried it and tried it to like the game I just could not like the game after three to four days I sold this game to someone and I kept on playing Modern Warfare 2 it was just too different I didn't like the graphics it was just like too I don't know I was just too used to Modern Warfare 2 obviously Modern Warfare 2 got hacked and for me, it kind of really lost the credibility of the game, so I give it another try to Black Ops. So I bought it again, second hand, so I didn't pay another 60 bucks. And I start, you know, playing a different style, rushing a little bit more, and trying to go for a different type of game. I start playing uh, Domination, Headquarters, and I met this guy on the PlayStation who introduced me to the Zombies. And when I got into the Zombies world, I didn't even know the Black Ops had Zombies. I was like, wow, really? Okay. So he teach me how to wrap up the zombies and, you know, pack and punch the weapons. And I'm like, holy shit, you could do all of this stuff? This sounds really cool. And I, I started being like a decent player. And this is when I noticed that, you know, wow, you know, Black Ops is a way, you know, much complete game than Modern Warfare 2. And then Modern Warfare 3 comes out. And this is when I feel like a lot more confident. I just get here, you know, get Moabs left and right. I'm like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm beasting. So last Christmas, I made myself a little gift. So I bought myself an HD PVR. I started recording my gameplay, and I had a channel only, you know, just to, uh, I was able to subscribe to people, you know, rate and comment on on people's channels. So I start uploading stuff. I did a bit of live streaming. And, uh, you know, my channel was, like, sort of growing a little bit. But, I didn't really like my channel because I didn't like the name that I had. So, I put, I made, I made a new channel, which was the, this one, the Mr. Soldier 1 HT. I wanted to link it up with my gamer tag. And, you know, a couple of people have been helping me. I met a, a lot of great people on the YouTube community. And first, I want to say a special thanks to Ninja Knives for mentioning me on his channel. He brought me a, a lot of subs in here. Another close friend is Mato Master 21 He let me made a commentary, and that was the first time I was like, I was the first one to make a commentary on this channel. It was a, also a really, really great boost. Another guy I cannot forget is uh, Hollow Point. We've been holding each other, giving tips left and right, and. Uh, you know, we truly believe that we're better than a lot of them that are all the way on top of there. Another guy that I have to thank is Jive Turkey, who's been swinging by my channel once in a while. And uh, this, this week, he just recently uh, posted my intro of uh, my tribute of him on his channel. And give me a couple of subs. I just reached 450 up subs really means a lot it's really cool and finally I have to thanks all of you guys all of the subscribers thanks for watching my videos and lately somebody saw something on me and this is the reason why I'm making this video I got partnership and this is with who I did got partner <laughs> Yeah.